everybody. I am Chris, and today we're going to do a core mobility. It's 30 minutes where we're going to be working on. I know my, <laughs> my screen is totally crooked. That's totally normal for you. That's my brain. Um, we're going to be working on warming the muscles and then working the course through some balance and some planks and things like that. And then the last 10 minutes of this are going to be a really nice stretch to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to uh, get you feeling amazing for the rest of your day. Okay. If you feel like you have trouble with balance, okay, this is what you need to be trying to do. Working on the core, working on your balance. You don't want to just uh, use the excuse of, well, I have terrible balance. Well, I could have terrible balance too if I've never worked on it. So just try to think of that. The things that you've gotten better with in life were things that you practiced and worked on to get there. So we are going to warm it up. I like to have ankles crossed. If your ankles are crossed, let's do right over left, okay? And we're gonna bring your arms up to the sky. Okay, arms up to the sky. Hold right there. Now I'm just gonna sit to the side so you can see. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Okay, so think about your core muscles. Zip up real tight here. Now what I want you to do is start by pulling your belly button in towards your spine, and I want you to start to round your back like you're doing a crunch, but sitting. So you're rounding and crunching, so pull the belly button in, and then come up, okay? And imagine you have a ball in your hand, and I'm gonna have you go over to one side, just a little, till you feel that that hip wants to come up and don't let that happen. So you have to use the abs to bring you up. Good, or to hold you in place, and then up. And other side. Jay Fox in Texas. Oh, thank you. Welcome to First Live. Hold it right here. Hold it. Now look up, slight arch to the upper back. And then inhale, reach, bring your hands to your knees and start some circles in one direction. Good. Good. Circles. So notice, <laughs> hi buddy. Notice, is the music too loud, guys? Or is it okay? Good. Circles. All right, and notice that I'm kind of rounding and arching my back here. So I'm getting some warmth building in my spine. Hi. Somebody has some eye boogies, you know? <laughs> Good. And come back up to sitting up tall. And if you have your right leg crossed over your left, switch. Okay, roll it up. Reach it up, reach it up. Now you might feel totally different. You might find that one hip feels like, what is happening here, right? Start to pull your belly button in towards your spine. Round it back like someone's pulling you with a belt, right? Pulling back. Crunch. Inhale, come up. As tall as you can. Thanks, Roseanne. Over to one side. Use the core to keep you there. And then up. Good. Over to the other side. Arms are straight. <laughs> and up. Good, reach slightly back, look up. Good, bring your hands down and go with some circles again. Go the other direction, okay? So I'm gonna go opposite direction. You get some warmth building in the core, in the abs, in the hips, yes? <laughs> I can't deal with this, I can't deal with this guy. <laughs> I was thinking Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Okay, all right, so now take your feet in front of you. Good, right here, feet in front, and arms come in front, okay? I'm gonna have you roll, pull your belly in, and just go as far as you can, pull the belly. Now right there, hold, keep reaching your arms forward, get your shoulders away from your ears, lift your left foot one, like six inches, six inches, flex it, put it down, right, Flex it, put it down. Bring your knees and feet together. Both of them six inches off the floor and hold. <laughs> hold it, hold it. We still love you even though it's not Jamie Foxx, right? <laughs> hold it right there, good. Now in this position, I want you to push away with your feet, but keep reaching your arms forward. Push, push, push. Now really pull the knees in, bring yourself back up, and then hug. And what I want you to do in that hugged position is start to roll like a ball. Hi, bud. Roll like a ball. Don't roll onto your neck. 
You want to feel this right at the center of your spine. This part's fun. <laughs> okay. We're going to change up this roll a little bit. I like this. Come up to the center, hold it. Now, take your legs. I have to, move, I have to make some room here. So left leg in front, right leg back behind you. So it's like this, okay? Right leg back behind you. Hi. Okay, go forward. And now what you're gonna do is roll it back and then go up and switch to the other side. Okay? So we're really warming up and then up and switch. Good. And up and switch. Good. And back. And so I'm gonna be off the screen in a second and all you're gonna see is Louie. And back. And hi. Good. And up. We're gonna do one more on each side, okay? One more on each side. <laughs> you know what's fun? Somebody, I'm sure there's someone else right now that's doing this and giving their dog or cat their mat. And <laughs> last one. Come back to the center and drop the knee side to side. Good. So we're dropping the knee and you're opening up the chest. Good. Keep going. Ten. Oh. Nine. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one more, and one. Now come over to one side and come to your hands and knees. Okay, now before we do this, curl the toes under and just give me some rolling of the wrists to loosen them up and get them ready for what we're gonna do here, okay? Cat took your mat. <laughs> Good. Other direction. <laughs> Pierre doesn't hold your mat. Pierre is uh, Vanessa's fish. He's coming with me. All right, ready? Hands on the floor. Knees under your toes. Sorry, knees not under your toes. Knees under your hips, toes on the floor. Right here, spread out your fingers. Lift your knees one inch off the floor. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, from there, listen. Right leg goes straight back, holds. Okay, so that right leg is in a plank and your heel is above your toes, not behind it like this, because that takes the core work out of it. Hold. Okay, so your left foot is still in bare. Hold it. Take your right knee back into where it was. Hold it. Left leg back, hold. Now, if you're not shaking a little bit, you're probably back like this, where the back leg is taking all the weight. I want you on the toes. Hold it. Good. Come back into bear. Now, from there, walk your hands back and forward fold here. Forward fold. Walk back out to a plank. Walk back out to a plank. Go to a down dog and then back to a plank. Walk your hands back to that squat. Now from there, hands to the chest, reach up. Exhale, fold. Bring your backside down. Walk back out to your plank. We're gonna add into this a little bit. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to left elbow. Bring it back. And back to pl uh, down dog, sorry, down dog, hold. Come back to plank. Walk it back in to that squat, to that squat, hands to the chest, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold it down. Now listen, inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, drop back to your squat, inhale. Exhale, walk back out to your plank. Bring your right knee to your left elbow, so cross it. Bring it back. Left knee to right elbow, cross it. Bring it back. Downward facing dog. 
back to plank. Walk back to your squat. Now, in the squat position, hold right here, hands on your chest. Lift your left heel. Lift your left heel, put it down. Lift your right heel, put it down. Lift both heels. Now you have to hold it. Find your center, give me eight count, seven, six, five, oh no, Jenna, and four, you know what this song is, three, two, inhale, all the way up, heels down, exhale, fold forward. Now everybody walk out to your plank right there. Good, hold it, and go to downward facing dog. Now hold right there, down dog, right leg comes up, Good, and then right knee crosses to the left elbow. Inhale up, good. Right knee cross, bring straight to the right elbow. Right leg up and put it down. Left leg comes up, bring it across. Inhale up, bring it to that same left elbow. Inhale up. Everybody back to plank. Woo, yay, hold it right there. Okay, bring your feet apart a little bit. Walk back to that squat. Walk back to that squat. Hands to the chest. Lift yourself up, but bring your left knee with you. Hold right there, stay there, stay there. Hold. Now, flex that left foot. Bring your hands to your hips. Bring your knee, I'm just gonna turn so you can see. Bring your knee down so that the foot is on either the inside of your calf, or if you can, come to a tree, okay? Where it's in the top. Hold right there. Find it, hold. Spread out the toes. I'm just gonna change this song because Jenna knows this song and it's really weird. Hold it right there. Good, hold it. Ding, ding. Hold it. Hold it. All right, so some core work coming. Your hand, your foot can be down by your calf. Reach your arms out. Be tall here. Be tall. You're like, I'm short though, right? Hold it right there. Bring your hands together in front. Bring your hands to your chest. Holding it to your chest, bring your knee back to the center. Now listen, listen. Left leg goes back into a low lunge. Okay, so that front knee is above the ankle. I want you to turn it so your left toes face me, right toes face the side. Reach your arms up. Using your core, you're gonna come over. Now, it's here. You're not straight, you're bent. Hold it. Oh, Louis, like, you can do this, hold it. So what's happening here? You don't want to be forward. You want this left arm close to the sky and close to your ear. You're holding. You're holding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now come up, turn your back toes. Turn onto your back toes. Now, right here, angle forward angle forward, length, you're not rounded at all, long through that back, inhale, as you exhale, bring your hands on the each side of the foot, come back to plank position, hold for four, three, two, walk back to your squat, walk back to your squat, bring your right knee up with you, hold it, good. Turn the knee out and put it either at the bottom, okay? <laughs> on the inside of your shin, not on your knee, either above or below your knee. Hold it, hands at the chest. Let's take the arms different this time. This time, arms up like a V. Hold, hold. Find a focal point, that will help. Now make a heart, pretty. Arms out like a V. Reach them around, bring them back to your chest. Hold, hold. Bring your knee back in front. Ooh. And then 
Bring your right foot way back into that lunge. Turn it. So you're in a warrior here. Okay. Your left heel is lined up with the inside of your right foot. Bring your arms up. And you're going to lean. Think obliques. And if you're like, what is an oblique? Obliques are, in other words, spare tire, love handle, right? No. That's the... The oblique is the muscle. Those names are things that people call the fat that lays around that area, okay? So let's not get those <laughs> things confused, right? Hold it. Oh, look. Good. Now, will you feel your leg? Absolutely. Will you feel your core holding you so that you don't fall forward? Yes. The arm is up next to the ear. Your arms are straight. Good. Come up. Turn it. So you're in that lunge. Go ahead and angle yourself forward. Hold. Hold. Good. Bring your hands down to either side of your foot. Let's go to a plank and hold it. Hold it. Nice. Now, what we're gonna do next, <laughs> Louis falling asleep for real, is drop the knees. Okay, drop the knees. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even look at this dog. Bring your right leg back. Okay, bring your right leg back and bring your left arm forward. Hold it. Point your toes. Now, curl your back toes under. Okay. Now see, okay, stay there. See, you're not gonna be able to see my foot. Okay, see if you can just be on the very top of the big toe very top of the big toe. And then see if you could lift that left foot off the floor. Hold. Eight, hold. Seven, hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Switch. <laughs> left leg back, right arm forward. Curl the toes under. Okay, lengthen. So if you are, stay there. So if you're kind of just kind of like extending and you're not using any core at all, you're gonna find yourself all over the place. Lengthen, like someone's pulling your leg. Right arm forward. Now go ahead and curl those toes under and lift, stay on just the big toe or lift. Hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, curl the toes, bear, hold, hold, bring your right leg back, drop to your right elbow, bring your right arm forward so that you're turning and your left leg is in front, Whew. and then stack, and if you can't stack, stagger, and if you can't stagger, drop to the knees, hold. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Take your left arm under and you're gonna go right to the other side. Stagger, knees, stack, whatever you gotta do. Hold it. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, put your right hand on the floor. Up to the left hand, back to down dog. Listen, Whew. right leg way up. Now, bring it in, right knee toward the right elbow, and then right foot toward the left, toward the left wrist. And you're gonna come here. So your leg is crossed in front of you. We're gonna go into a pigeon now, half pigeon. If you're like, no way. <laughs> If you're like, no way, you lay down and you do a figure four, okay? So here, don't lay, don't lay down yet. Get your, get your feeling into it, okay? Hold it here. Inhale up. Good. Exhale, start to fold over the leg. Start to fold over the leg. We're going to release in the hips for a little bit here. Hold. Just breathe. Relax your jaw. 
Maybe you tend to clench the teeth. Open your mouth a little. Good, stay here. Now let's take a big inhale and I want you to come up again, but don't come out of this. Inhale up, get length in your back. And now as you walk forward, good Gina. See if you can go a little more forward. Let's see if you can get a little more depth out of it. So if you're just clenching your jaw, say if you're like, you're not, if you're holding your breath, if you're resisting the stretch in any way, it's gonna make the stretch harder. So if you just let go, and I know that's easier said than done sometimes. You can get a little deeper into those stretches if you just let go. and start to walk yourself back up. Okay, now hands on the floor, curl the back toes under. You're gonna come back, down dog. Oh, shake it out side to side. Press your heels down, shake it out. And then bring your left leg way up and cross it over. If you're on your back, you're just gonna switch legs to so cross it over. Oh, yes, good. So another thing, just like this, like I said, even with balance, right? So you're like, well, my hips are so tight, never gonna get there. Don't say never, no. Inhale up. Remember, yes, we all have different, we all have different areas of flexibility, right? Some people are tighter on the outside of the hips, on the inside of the hips, right? Some people are really tight in their shoulders and their neck. Sometimes it's just the way your body is built. Does that mean you can't work on your flexibility? No, you wanna try and work on it. Breathe and send some love down to that left hip. I know this is the hard part for a lot of you guys to stay in here and taking that extra little bit to let it relax. So we inhale and lift up. And don't forget, we did it and hold it on the other side. So we're gonna do it again, right? <laughs> CJ said, I think I'm sweating more in this class than I was in the boxing. Yeah, this was a rough one today, sorry. <laughs> so when we were up in Niagara Falls, if anybody, whoever was there, uh, Liam was our opener. He, <laughs> he was the opener, he, he was, which he absolutely was. Um, yeah, he was kind of our MC. It was fun. And uh, one of his little jokes was, we all started doing step with Chris, and you know we're all doing mobility and strength now, right? And everybody laughed, like in shame. <laughs> Not everybody, but a few, a few. Good, come on up. Okay. I'm gonna apologize for this one in advance, okay. You were happy, you were excited about the stretch, weren't you? Yeah, okay, <laughs> so you're gonna bring your knees out. Ugh, I don't even wanna do this. Okay, so let me figure the best way to get into this. Ugh. Let's do this <laughs> instead. Bring your left knee out, okay, left knee out. You're on this knee and I want you to open that left knee, push it open, okay. I wanted to do this instead of frog because my hips aren't getting into frog today. I got to work on it, right? But have you guys done that position? It's also easier to get into um, on a hardwood floor. So you should be feeling this hip, the inside opening here. Hold. You found me because of kickboxing? Good. That's wonderful, Maria. She said that great flow she really worked on connecting her breath with each movement good now notice how good that feels when you come out of it right so knee open this up come down to the floor if you can and push that right knee open hold it i love this 
frog. Yeah. Come to your belly. Rock your hips side to side. You're going to do an upward facing dog. So we did a lot of forward folding today. Upward dog. Okay. Now, this is not scrunching in your shoulders like this. You want to lengthen, hold, and then slowly lower yourself down. So you know that we say articulate the spine one at a time. Think about this. Start to lift the bottom, the chest, then the bottom of your chest, then top rib. Start to push off the floor. Lift. Get a little tricep work there too. Nice. Articulate back down. Start to bend the elbows. Good. Belly button ribs, face coming down, and then push yourself back into a child's pose. So bring your uh, belly to the thighs. So in this position, if you need to uh, put something under your feet to kind of cushion the knees, that's fine. But what I want you to do here is just let that head sink onto, if you can't get it to the floor, you can always put blocks under you, a pillow, something like that. But as you breathe, notice the expansion of the ribs, not only through the belly into your thighs, but also your back expanding. Okay, so letting go of tension along the spine there by inhaling. And then exhaling. So again, inhale. Now this is through the nose. And out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Now this time, hold it. Take a little sip more through the nose out through the mouth and just let yourself sink a little deeper into this. One more of those, inhale. Hold it, sip a little more, out through the mouth. Slowly start to pull your elbows closer to your body, dragging your hands down by your shoulders. Press your hands into the floor to bring yourself up. And then kick your feet over to one side as we come back to whichever position feels good for you. Good, give me a couple more of those little body rolls, Vanessa. I hate to say it, but this do 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 reminds me of. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Sorry, other direction. Uh, Andy Samberg, The Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> uh, good. Back to the center. Big breath in. Hands come together and down to your chest. Close your eyes just for a second. Entertain me for one second, for third, 10 seconds. When you feel the need to stop and slow down, take three to five minutes and just try, set a timer on your phone. Just try to bring yourself back to the now and this moment and what you need to do to bring your brain to a more calm place, to have your body feel more at ease. So open the eyes, give me one big breath all the way up and in, hands back to the heart. And I thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Don't forget when this workout comes back up on YouTube to hit that like, to share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everybody. 
Enjoy your day.